Well, good morning, friends. It is Friday morning. I am so ready for the weekend. And I wanted to take a few minutes before I headed out the door this morning um, to just share something that's on my heart. I am actually filming this morning from my room. And as you can see above my head is a limb, a blossoming limb. So how many have ever heard that term? Oh, man, she is out on a limb. Yeah, there are time and time and time and times again <laughs> where life will get make us feel like we are out on a limb. What does out on a limb mean? Out on a limb, like out in the wild, that means something's chasing you. You've run up a tree and you've gone back as far as you can and that enemy's still in pursuit. And you're stuck out on the limb. Sometimes the enemy will go away because he can't reach where you are and you save the day by getting out on the limb. Sometimes a limb will break. You've seen that happen in the wild. And all of a sudden the animal falls. Could hurt or he could, that could be his escape. He hits the ground and goes a running. But to be out on a limb is usually a place between a rock and a hard place where the rubber meets the road. And when things are pursuing you uh, that feel like they're overwhelming or that they're harmful to you whether it's to your emotions, whether it's to your bank account, whether it's to your children, whatever the case may be. It's something that um, that um, we've seen in scripture throughout history. So give me an example. Okay, well, who would be out on the limb? Well, Goliath pursuing David. Yeah, a giant coming at you would be like a day, a, a day you were out on the limb. Okay, that would be a good example. A Red Sea in front of you and the Egyptian army behind you. Yeah, you'd feel that day that you were kind of out on a limb, right? So I hope that you get the picture. We all have moments we feel out on the limb. So this painting not only depicts the limb, but I want you to see what else this limb has. This limb, ha limb has blossoms. It's a blossoming limb. So you might have also heard this, the um, little saying, bloom where you're planted. Yeah. Had it not been the Lord, the scriptures say, who was on my side, when the enemy came in like a flood, he would have swallowed us alive. Had it not been the Lord. So there are things that happen and shifts that take place supernaturally. Say that with me. Supernaturally. Things that I can't do for myself, that God has all of creation come to my rescue. What? All of creation come to your rescue. What exactly do you mean? Well, maybe you should go into the scriptures and remember the story when the disciples were going fishing and while they were fishing, the storm grew boisterous. The winds began to blow and the waves began to rise. And they said, Lord, Lord, while he was sleeping in the back of the boat, don't you care that we perish? How many of us get to a point when we're out on the limb and instead of trusting and holding fast what we know or moving in the authority that we have as sons of God with Christ now in us, get moved by the storm instead of moving the storm? Yes, yeah, so that's my point this morning. While the disciples were struggling to grow up and understand who they were and who he was in them, we have the benefit of learning from their lessons and moving in our authority and taking our place in the universe and taking authority where we need to and using the words and the power of our words to change circumstances, situations, atmospheres, and weather, weather reports. <laughs> what? Even the winds and the seas obey him. And the winds and the seas do still know his name. So I hope that that will be encouraging today. Have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day. Know that you can bloom even out on the limb. Trust him. Have a great day.